This video shows how to adjust the tracking force in a Biogram 4000 series turntable. I will show how to do zero force balancing and how to use a tracking force gauge. For more information please visit my blog at biolover.blogspot.com or go to my website at www.biolover.com. The first step towards a precisely adjusted tracking force is the performance of a zero force adjustment. For this we reduce the tracking force adjustment bushing to zero and then we adjust a counterweight in the back of this compartment that the tone arm swings freely between its upper and lower limits. For doing this adjustment it is a good idea to take out this top plate so the tone arm can swing freely without the cantilever hitting the top plate. The top plate can be released by pulling the cabinet forward. So here it comes out and now gently wiggle it to the side and uh, then it comes off. The next step is to take the enclosure off so we can access the weight back here. This here is the counterweight that balances the tone arm against the pivot point. With this screw, which is threaded into the counterweight, we can move it forward and backward. So before we do that, we need to turn the adjustment bushing back to zero. This drives a small gear down here that then uh, acts on a spring, which uh, then presses the tone arm down. So when we turn this back to zero, the spring is released, and then we can adjust this here so the tone arm balances freely. For testing the balance of the tone arm, we need to pull up the arm lifting lever, which is used by the turntable to lift the tone arm up. So here I'm turning the spring force back to zero. And now I'm taking the cover off uh, from the cartridge. That's of course important, so we have the correct weight at the end of the tone arm. And now here I'm pushing this lever up and I test the tone arm. And so now uh, I simply adjust the counterweight until the tone arm balances freely. So this takes a few cycles. So I'm speeding this up. And so at the end here I'm pretty close. This here shows the end result. So I'm pushing up the lever and so you see the tone arm goes down a little bit. And when one gently taps it, it sort of swings in between. Now we can put the plate back in and I'm a little bit reckless here because I did not put the protective cover on the cartridge so if you do this for the first time I would definitely recommend to do that to protect the cartridge. Okay and now the plate is back in. Now we can put the cover back on. The important part here is that this groove lines up with this metal plate that is on the side of the assembly. So here I'm aligning it and now I gently, while slightly wiggling, push the cover down. And so here it's seated. Now it's time to adjust the tracking force to the desired value. So I'm putting the screwdriver in here and adjust the bushing to 1.2 grams, which is the prescribed tracking force for this cartridge. And now it's time to precisely adjust the tracking force using the tracking force gauge. For this we turn on the turntable and then use the slow queuing button to move the carriage a little bit back. And now we can put the tracking force gauge underneath the stylus. So here we see the uh, gauge. It has the, the weight markings on there. This is in grams. So if we want to adjust the weight to 1.2 grams, this is the marker. So the um, stylus needs to be above this groove at the latitude of this marker if we want to use this gauge to weigh the uh, tone arm. So now carefully I put the gauge underneath into the right position 
and once it's where I want it, I lower the tone arm onto it. And so you see it seats and it pressed it all the way down. So this means we have a too high tracking force at this point. And so we need to lower the weight at the adjustment bushing. So here I'm lowering it. And now it's time to try this again. Here we go. So I'm aligning the gauge again and I'm also pushing the arm a little bit back. The reason for that is to prevent that the tracking sensor is accidentally triggered. And so you saw here now that the um, the balance was pushed down much less vividly than before. So this means we're pretty close to the right weight. In fact, it's pretty difficult to really get it balanced while the arm is on there. So you will find a position that is slightly too heavy and then one that's slightly too light and then you can adjust it in between and then you are done. This is where I ended up uh, at about 0.8 grams. Now this is not the 1.2 that I had adjusted in the beginning so you see that the scale is not very accurate but of course it is best to trust the measurement and simply adjust this here to get the uh, proper tracking force. This concludes my video about adjusting the tracking force in a Biogram 4000 series turntable. Thanks for watching.